When you think of B-movie villains, what comes to mind? Personally for me, I think of aliens, mutants, giant bugs, and even sharks. But one that I prefer over all of these are dinosaurs, for obvious reasons. Now dinosaurs seem like a good B-movie villain to work with, since they could be perceived as menacing, bloodthirsty creatures, right? Now movie producers obviously paint these animals a different way for the sake of their movie, and it can almost be seen as plausible since the dinosaurs that are typically used in these types of movies are very deadly. Now I'm not saying it's completely realistic, but it's realistic enough for us to give it a pass. But what if I told you someone decided to take things a step further, to create something different and use something new, something no one had ever expected, Something like a mammoth. Around late May or early June, my family and I decided to go rent some movies for whatever reason. This was something we used to do a lot before we had streaming services. And it's been a while since I've actually gone and rented DVDs. So I decided to go just to see some of the new releases, but I ended up running into something I found far more interesting. Of course, I ran into Mammoth the Movie. This was a movie that I had seen in the movie rental store for years, and I never really wanted to rent it because, I mean, look at it. But now that I'm a very famous YouTuber that likes watching shitty dinosaur movies, I figured I could give it a try. And I've been meaning to make this review now for a while, but I got lazy. And it wasn't until my last review, which was yesterday, where I figured it was time to tell you all how I feel about Mammoth. After looking at the box cover of Mammoth, I was going into this movie expecting it to be more like Age of Dinosaurs, a horrible movie that takes itself way too seriously. Personally for me, those are the best kinds of B-movies to watch because there's just something entertaining about watching people trying to execute a ridiculous idea as something serious. Sadly, this wasn't the case with Mammoth, as this movie ended up being a lot more campier than I expected. Regardless, I wanted to give this movie a chance and after watching it in its entirety, I can tell you with confidence that this movie disappointed me. And it's not even in terms of not being a movie like Age of Dinosaurs, I'm completely fine with campy movies. But it's like what I said in yesterday's review, if logic and realism are forgotten, the producers now have to rely on being entertaining in other ways, in this case in terms of comedy. Now this movie is pretty weird from a normal person's perspective. But for someone who watches a lot of B-movies, the concept for this movie has potential. At least potential for a B-movie, that is. The movie is about a scientist who spent five years of his life studying a frozen mammoth, having to escape said mammoth once a meteor crashes into the museum that is displayed in Awakens the Mummified Beast. Sounds like B-movie gold in my opinion, but sadly I feel like everything is executed poorly in this movie. The mammoth itself obviously looks like garbage, but the worst parts about it is the fact that not only is the main focus on the characters and on the villain of this movie, but every time we do get to see the mammoth on screen, it's shown to us in a very shitty slow motion effect, and the camera is always zoomed in into a random part of the mammoth's body, so you can never really tell what the mammoth was actually doing. It was very annoying and even headache inducing to watch at times. And with the main focus on the characters, we're now expected to be invested in their stories and why they're relevant to the mammoth being alive. But in all honesty, despite a few character dynamics and antics, everyone and everything they do in this movie is just really boring. And I wouldn't have as much of a problem with it, they just did something funny or something that made sense to the story. But they don't, and instead we're given forgettable characters that aren't interesting or funny, despite the fact that this movie is considered a horror comedy. So you'd expect at least something comical out of them, right? Especially since they're taking up the majority of the screen time. But no, the only funny character in this movie and the only one I genuinely liked was the scientist's dad, Simon. He was the most entertaining person on screen and unlike everyone else brought out the campiness and entertainment of the movie. Don't get me wrong, the other characters did say some things that got me chuckling, but in my opinion, Tom Skerritt, who played Simon in this movie, fucking carried it. All of his antics and his classic government skepticism grandfather attitude were the best parts of this movie. This whole thing just feels like a missed opportunity. Yeah, it sounds like a dumb concept, but they could have also made it really fun. I mean, the mammoth itself has the ability to suck souls out of living things with its trunk. To me, that sounds like a weird concept that has the potential to be fun and ridiculous, as B-movies are known for being. But much like the mammoth villain itself, the concept isn't utilized nearly as much as it should have been. And there are other parts of this movie that I didn't mention, because those parts, while crucial to the movie itself, just seems pointless to me. Like, we later find out that the meteor was really a UFO, and apparently the mammoth is not just a mummified frozen beast, 
but a mummified frozen alien beast. But at that point, I had just gotten really bored of the movie that I couldn't really follow the plot by the third act. But in terms of everything else, it was definitely a step up from Jurassic Thunder. The acting, characters, and dialogue are simply okay in this movie. The plot was pretty boring, but more coherent than whatever the fuck Jurassic Thunder was. The mammoth itself was underused, but I guess that's to be expected with these kind of movies. And only certain parts of this movie were truly entertaining and funny. Overall, it wasn't the worst B-movie I've ever seen, but it's far from good. So I think a 3 out of 10 is a fair score to give it. It could have expressed this campiness better and it definitely could have been more funny, but it ended up being more boring with only a few actually funny scenes thrown in. But yeah, that was my little review on Mammoth. I don't really recommend this movie to anyone. It was definitely weird, but I guess if you like shitty B-movies, then maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll get a kick out of it. I don't know. But if you guys want to suggest more dinosaur B-movies uh, for me to review here on the channel, then come check out my Discord that I have with my other dinosaur YouTuber friends, where we just talk about anything dinosaur related. I have my own personal channel over there where I use it as a place to give you guys some exclusive updates on things that's happening with the channel. It's also a place where you guys can go ahead and suggest dinosaur movies for me to watch and review here on the channel uh, along with any other dinosaur stuff that you guys want me to do content around but anyways that's pretty much all I have to say for now if you guys do want to go check out that discord I'll leave the link to it in the description down below we'd love to have you and that's pretty much all I have to say for now thank you so much for watching guys and please have a nice day